Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to check if multi-factor authentication is enabled in Office 365 users or not. Now to do this, open up a web browser and then simply head over to office.com. And from this website, simply click on this sign in option and then simply sign in with your corporate email. Now once you have successfully logged into your office account, then simply click on this hamburger icon right over here and then choose this admin to open up the admin panel for your corporate email. Now from here, what you want to do is that you want to access the list of users. For that, simply click on users and then click on active users. Now you will be brought to this page which contains a list of all active users on your corporate email. From here, to check multi-factor authentication, simply click on this option that says MFA. Now this is going to open up the multi-factor authentication user settings in a new tab in which we can see a list of users along with the multi-factor authentication status. So as you can see that, I have one user which multi-factor authentication enabled, one user with it disabled and the last users as in force. So that is how you can check out the multi-factor authentication for Office 365 users under your organization account. Now if you want to check whether you have enabled multi-factor authentication for Azure Active Directory users or not, then simply click on all applications from here and then click on admin. And after that, simply click on show all options, scroll down and inside admin center you would see this one which is Azure Active Directory. Click on it to open up the intra admin center for azure active directory then again log in with your account and remember that you would need azure active directory premium subscription for this option once you're inside the intra admin simply click on show more and then under protect and secure you would have conditional access now if there are no policies added within this conditional access then that means that the mfa is not set up for any user inside your azure active directory now in case you want to set it up then simply click on new policy Give a name for this policy, then add users to which you want to enable MFA and right under access control, you would have this option for grant. Then click on zero control selected and make sure to enable require multi-factor authentication option. Click on select and once that is done, simply create this new policy. Now that brings us to the end of this video. Additionally, you can also check out the Office 365 and Active Directory auditing tool known as Infra SOS. Because with Infra SOS, you can run reports to check which users are enabled for multi-factor authentication or not. Now the link for Infra SOS website is in the description box. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that queue in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the blog that is linked in the description box about how to check MFA is enabled or not in a little more detail. And lastly, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.